Psalm 147, verses 12 through 20. I wonder if the people of Israel back in ancient history realized what a privileged people they were. This is what the psalmist is writing about in Psalm 147, verses 12 through 20. He's telling the Jewish people to praise the Lord and praise their God because of all he had done for them. He strengthened the bars of their gates, and he blessed the children within them. He gave peace in their borders. He fed them. But he gave them his word. You see, the nation of Israel had a land given to them by God, and they had a law given to them by God. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his ordinances, they have not known them, says verse 20. In other words, God deposited with the people of Israel the precious treasure of his word. Now let's notice what he has to say about the word of God. Verse 15, God's word runs. He sends forth his commandment upon the earth. His word runs very swiftly. When God speaks, that word goes out like a rapidly running messenger and accomplishes his purposes. God runs the universe by his word. He decrees things, and they happen. His word runs and accomplishes his will. Verse 18, he sends out his word and melts them. He melts the ice. He melts the snow. God's word not only runs, but it melts. It can melt the cold, hard heart. Are you facing some situation that's impossible? The Word of God can come forth and melt down those bars and those walls and open the way for you. His Word blesses. Verse 19, He showed His Word unto Jacob, His statutes and His ordinances unto Israel. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, His Word blesses us, and we need His Word today. Spend time in the Word of God. It's a great treasure that when you invest it in your life, it bears fruit. Today, God's Word is running, accomplishing His will. It's melting, opening the way. It's blessing all who will receive it, all who will obey it, all who will trust Him. Praise the Lord for the Word of God today.